Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Drac, and this is the P Plus U, where we review dev streams, or dev videos in this case. <laughs> I am your faithful wizard. Tonight, I also have my ranger buddy, Therk. Hey, what's going on, everybody? The noble paladin, Nathan. Hello, everybody. Glad to be here. Sometimes impersonates a dire lord. <laughs> <laughs> and also, our guest host tonight, Oren. He's a streamer, a uh, aficionado. Hey, everybody. How you doing? <laughs> so we are here to do the P plus U. If you don't know, if you've never been on a P plus U before, what we do is we give our thoughts, and then we have you guys jump in the Discord. We drag you up, and then you give your sh thoughts for the show. Uh, so we want to hear what you think. And since there are 90 of you here, I we're kind of guessing that everybody's really fired up about this topic today. So... <laughs> I believe that's the case. There's already four people in the green room. So there's, there's people lined up, but we will get to everybody today. Everybody that wants to say something can say something. Um, a lot of times the devs are in the channel listening to the show, and so or they will go back and review it later. So if you want to get a message to the devs, what you liked, what you didn't like, um, make sure you hop in or, or even put it in the chat. So, all right. Well, for myself... Um, I'm just going to say the, I'm going to, I'm, since I'm first, I'm taking the super easy one. That was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I was, it kind of like, it was a lot of buildup and it was not very long. Um, yeah. It was over before we yeah. even knew it. I, I, we were watching it and we're like, okay, okay. And then, and then that we saw the Pantheon logo come up. We're like, oh. Wait, 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 what? I was, <laughs> wait, what? I was still yeah, recording, I thought, and I was like, that can't be it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I thought that was the intro. I thought that it was going to be a black screen, and Joppa's going to be sitting there in front of a cozy fire and explaining some stuff to us. Cozy oh, stream. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I did like uh, the goblin. I liked the, the goblin, I think, was my favorite thing that they that they showed. Uh, that was good. really cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, the I someone mentioned the running animations. They look a little like they still need a little work. You can tell they're not done. Yeah, but the faces look better. Like uh, you can kind of see in the above Nathan. There's the 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 first face that we had. That one's a little rougher. But the the guy with the with the twelve o'clock shadow. I thought that was that was decent. I thought that was pretty. Yeah, it's good. coming along. Yeah, I yeah, I think it's coming along. I think if they uh, continue at that rate, I think it's going to look pretty good. I think yeah. the world looks fantastic. I'm just going to say that. I think the world looks great. Um, the art for the some of the, like, the wolves, I used to think I kind of liked them. I'm kind of starting to think they do need a little work, um, especially that one particular video they showed. I think that was just bad video quality with, like, one frame per second. But they're, they're, it's coming together. Like, I still think the bear looks a little strange, um, but the world is beautiful i think uh, i think this seeing it motion moving through the world a little bit seeing the 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 actual environments and and seeing some of these creatures in those environments i think goes a long way of making this feel like this is a good direction they're going once you understand why they're doing it etc yeah i and i would agree with you nathan i think the key of what you said there is that once you understand why they're doing it um you know and i thought that that was what i was really keying in on in the video was I was, you know, I was looking at the, you know, the images, of course, in the video and, and sort of, you know, as the aesthetics of it and, and analyzing it, but also paying attention to what they were saying about why they needed to make this change. Now, having said that, I think it needed more explanation. I mean, this is such a huge change and this is such a difference in, in graphic quality, graph, you know, as the aesthetics in general. And I, I think they touched on some important points, but way 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 under explained in terms of what this you know it's drastic you know it's a drastic change for most of the people who are watching this seeing this for the first time i think i think there is some sh probably some people are pretty shell-shocked yeah um, it's a shocking it's a shocking revelation mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It, and so it, we're seeing the effects of that people are in shock still it's gonna take a little while it's got wild well, star the, vibes to me which i love yeah yeah, yeah i agree with that <laughs> yeah, and people comparing it to Fortnite or World of Warcraft, ah, that's a little wishy-washy in my opinion. But Wildstar, oh yeah, I could. I, you can't deny that there's a lot of that kind of feel uh, feeling with the way everything's designed for sure. 
Which I, I once again, I am okay with this graphic art style. I kind of like it because I think it looks indie. And I think that's a good thing. It should. It is indie. It should look indie, right. uh, because when you punch way too far above your uh, your your uh, class size, your weight, uh, you're gonna. I mean, it's just not gonna work out. Somebody, you know, performance is gonna be bad. Um, there's gonna be way too many graphical issues uh, and 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 something something bad, right? I would rather fire up Pantheon. It runs smooth, and them get the vision out faster because that's what they say this is gonna do. And not hear my fan turn on like a jet engine, like my <laughs> PC is going to literally take off into space. You know what I mean? Come on, come on, David. Don't I? I we all pay for cooling <laughs> solutions for exactly these reasons. That's why we buy these stupid water coolers and you know, two hundred dollar <laughs> copper plate nonsense. Come on, no, I'm just kidding. My, my big thing with all of this too is uh, is longevity. Uh, you know, if if you've been in the MMO space for long enough, you know what I mean, like. Uh, you can you can say like I prefer uh, a more realistic approach or a more stylized approach, whatever. That's fine. Um, and really, I think at the end of the day, too, my my concern, my big concern, is functionality, is gameplay, and everything. But if you're if you're talking specifically about this topic, right? Like longevity is a huge issue. Performance, longevity, and you know, I mean, I love EQ. Don't get me wrong, but if you take EQ compared to World of Warcraft, regardless of what you like better, I feel like objectively you could say WoW has aged easier, better than EverQuest or like a Star Wars Galaxies or something like that, right? There, I feel like true. there's longevity. Yeah, because uh, even I mean, playing WoW Classic, well, a lot of people playing WoW Classic because of hardcore mode, they're going back to it. And mm -hmm. it still is acceptable. It still is completely acceptable graphics it's because they went stylized, and it really is. Yep. It really is the smartest thing to do. And I mean, uh, whether you whether you care about the big shoulder pads or not, or the giant weapons or whatever, I mean, I I feel like it lasts longer. Um, you know, they you promise take, they're not doing that too. By the way, they right, promise right, for sure. So they, you can still do stylized without that, but but I just mean in general, right? Like. Uh, you know, for example, uh, New World. I've been playing New World a little bit. Crazy realistic graphics, right? Uh, gameplay isn't necessarily there for me, but like, but the graphics are fantastic. But how long do those stay competitive in in the graphical state? I I don't know, but um, but something stylized like that, you can even continue to up update that relatively easily. I would think compared to the more realistic graphics. So, yeah, for me, it's longevity. Yeah, I agree. And, like, with future expansions year after year after year, um, keep the same artistic style, more polygons, etc. And it, 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 even the old world still matches with the new areas mm -hmm. added later on because it's still the same style. It's just, you know, more graphically impressive as time goes on. And, and, it, and it just works. It is a smart move. There's no doubt that it wasn't smart. Now, the problem that... VR is facing right now, and hopefully this video helps some, I think it will help with a lot of it, um, where we only had a couple screenshots to look at, now we've got real footage, um, was that it's been in development so long that we've all got something in our mind over these years that we thought that's what Pantheon was going to the end product was going to be. Now, nobody actually knew for sure, but we all had something like, I was expecting it I'm going to be honest, I was expecting the environments of ESO. I really was. I thought by the time this game le releases, it's going to look something like Elder Scrolls Online looked at launch. So, I mean, I'm, I'm a, I did it too. So it's hard to break that. Yeah. Like like Derek says, it's just shocking when that when that yeah. is broken in your mind. Yeah, that's where I'm at. You know, I'm, I'm trying to adjust to this new vision of the world, you know, because I, I admit that I don't like the new art style. I don't like WoW's art style. I don't like. I didn't like how WildStar looked. I didn't play WildStar, but I didn't like the look of it. It's not for me, you know. I don't. Um, I don't particularly like these, uh, these graphic, these graphical styles. Um, so it's going to take time for me to adjust. Now, I'm not saying you can't make a good game with this style. There's plenty of good games um, out there uh, using this graphical, this art style. But um, yeah, we've been following this for so long, and I think that there's so much water under the bridge with this game that it's um it's quite it's quite 
hard to adjust for some people. And I, I've seen a lot of feedback in the community, you know, since they posted the, the one screenshot they've shown, you know, some people really like this change. And I think there's been a lot of people that really don't like this change. And, and I think a lot of people are looking at this as a downgrade and a step back. And that's fair. You know, you can't really blame people for that. I, I think, yeah. you know, that's the way I'm seeing it anyway, is that, um, you know, it's, it's really tough. It's really tough, I think that um like elder scrolls online has been out for a long time right like and i don't think their graphics have aged that poorly like we're talking about which graphics have more longevity you know like i think you can do both i would say i don't i've never really bought into that argument of you know you do this for longevity i mean gameplay creates not not aesthetics you know generally i think that i think it's it's what's the game is all about how how it plays you know what whether it's fun whether it's interesting and and that kind of thing and you know, VR has talked about why they made these changes again, going back to the video. And they said, you know, they, a couple of quotes that I wrote down, I just want to mention them before I forget, um, was that they wanted to be competitive, right? Um, they wanted to be, so Ben Dean said, sustainable and, um, and reaching more audiences and resonating with more gamers because it is a more, it's a more commute, it's a more widely accepted or widely embraced style, I guess you might say. And that's, I, I can buy into that. If it brings more people into the game, that's good for the game. That's what Pantheon needs. It, it needs people first and foremost. It's a social game. Um, but I, I think that, um, you know, it's a bit of a hard pill to swallow to, yeah. to, for that cause, I would say. Right. Yeah, and I, I do believe that this will grow in all of us because I think that, um, I think that, number one, once we see it, the actual vision, right, which is really more about what the game has in it, right, like the the gameplay loop and uh, the systems in the game. And I think that we'll enjoy those so much, just like playing, going back and playing freaking P99 or, or, or a classic or EverQuest at a TLP launch. And we actually, most of us, not everybody, kind of actually like the graphics, even though they're not great or good. We like them because we like the game, and that is the front-facing part of the game to us. Therefore, you learn to love it. So I think even people who don't like this style at all, I think it'll grow on you. You know, um, sailors yeah. and sea monsters wants to know Nathan because you're our Asmon Gold expert. If you think Asmon Gold will like the new style, I can I can literally tell you exactly what Asmon Gold's going to say. He hasn't reacted yet, but he will. And I can I bet you anything. You can go ahead and you can uh, you can go ahead and save this shot because it's going to age perfectly. Clip He's going to say something almost almost identical to what I'm about to say. He'll say it looks better. He'll he'll make some co some kind of comment about it still looks old, right? He will make comment about it looks aged somehow. Don't know how he'll spin that, but something about it still looks aged, but this is better than it did look. And then what he'll do is he'll pull up a video of what Pantheon used to look like, and he'll put them side by side, and he'll say, this is better. He will say this is better, absolutely. All yeah. right, clipped. And he'll probably make a comment about it's never coming We're out. coming back oh. to this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm telling you, that's All right. pretty much exactly what he'll do. Well, we're still going to get a chance to get some thoughts in, but I want to make sure that we get people in the show because the Pantheon Plunge to you is all about the Pantheon fans, and they have shown up, shown up in mass tonight. Um, so we want to make sure we hear from them. I believe Doug Bug has some stuff he's got to do, but he really wants to talk. Uh, okay. So, there, can you uh, get, yeah. is he in Discord? Yeah, he's in the green room. Doug Bug, if you want to unmute yourself, <clears throat> I will, there you go. He's coming in. Here we go. All right. If you want to join the green room, you can certainly do that. That's in our Discord. There's a room called the green room. You just join that, and eventually we will get to you. Um, we're not leaving until every person gets their say. Mm -hmm. And Doug Bug has arrived. Hey, Doug. Hey, how are you doing? What's Good, up, man? man. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Can't complain. Yeah, good. So, I hear you got I something on your mind. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, I just want to say that I was in favor of the change. Um, I think that animations are what matter to me most with MMOs, and I feel like a game like World of Warcraft, the animations just look smoother. I think that that style allows that. And to me, it, it seems like they're going for kind of like a EQ Next verse with like a Wild Star and Breath of the Wild combination kind of. Yeah. With with Joppa's love of of Breath of the Wild, I I could see them kind of spinning that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I love. I mean, but that's different to me. To me, that looks that's a much different 
that's that's a much different look to me and i i like breath of the wild i like how it looks but this this feels like a much lesser version of that that's just i mean me. yeah yeah it's never gonna match nintendo's quality that's for sure from an indie yeah. team but for me my biggest concerns tonight were just the format change man i just i was not a fan of that i felt like it was a net loss um because even before, you know, we would get still get pre-made videos, only we would get explanations, discussions. You can draw things out, and I don't know. I just felt like like I had a little list of things that I was hoping that they would do, and I said, you know, I, I wanted to see like they showed the human running in the new vid, like, and I think what they showed looked good, but it just it's not enough, and it's just typical VR type things where the commu the people that are naysayers are going to latch onto this and say, mm -hmm. "Oh wow, a five minute video, this still is never coming out." Like, and I, yeah. I just like it was frustrating because it was such a built up thing. This was like their, we need to hit a home run, and if anything, it was a, I don't know. It was a bunt. It was a bunt. <laughs> it was exactly. a bunt. No, it was, you know, it was, they just sat there and took pitches. They didn't even swing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> one of the things that they had talked about doing with this was that they were going to be in the premier chat answering questions, but it wasn't long enough for that. It was like, yeah. there was no chance to ask any questions or, or interact at all with the devs that they said, you know, I, I think Minus was there. I think Savanya was there. I, don't, I didn't catch anybody else, but like there was really no chance to have a discussion or anything like that. And like, on one hand, I'm for when they announced that they were changing their format to do this. I, I like I'm for more information and less sort of you know, you know, hot air, you know, so to speak, just right. sort of blathering that kind of thing. And it, this is this is it's, the pendulum has definitely swung in one direction, but there just there wasn't enough here to sort of meet those expectations. I think for what they sort of set Doug, out. But would it would it would it have landed better if like uh, you would have known like? Hey, this is. They would have said, "Hey, it's a short video, but it's going to show a lot. It's going to show emotion and a lot more artwork." I, 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 it's not even that. Like, I agree with you. Like, I felt like the last before they made the format change, like when they were doing like the class refreshes, that it was like fluff. Like, I didn't need that. I would almost be in favor of a video, like a live stream on Twitch, with the, like they used to do every three months, where I'm getting a lot of answers to questions. Like, for instance. I know that in Discord, I asked Choppa, like, how long, you know, you're switching these old zones over. And he said that that's not a heavy lift. And changing the, the new art style to the stuff that's already done, don't panic. Like, we can do that quickly. Well, if you were just watching that video tonight, like, sure, they mentioned that it's going to be faster. But, like, I feel like they should have shown that process in a video. Like, even a small little That's clip. what I was hoping, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah like, break, it, break it down a little bit. Hey, this is how long this took. Right. Plus. Yeah. I mean, I because when everyone's coming at this with such anxiety, because it's such a huge change, like mm -hmm. I think it would have been cool to show. Like I loved the concept art and stuff, but but show me a video of of one of the artists making in this new drawing in the new style, or I don't know. I know that. <laughs> There were just so many things. Like I know that they just added a new audio studio to do music. I, no one will know anything about that because yeah. we can't. You don't get that feedback of talking to them. And I just feel like I follow two MMOs. I follow this and I follow Ashes of Creation. And Steven is like the face of Ashes. And I feel like Joppa is so good at what he does. He should be the face. And I like Minus too. Like I love Minus. I love Sav. But I just feel like. Yeah, those personalities are missing to me from a video like this, and, and I think that's just sad because I root for the studio so much because of the people behind it. It's true, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, and, and uh, that brings up a good point, too. We were talking about, you know, step up to the batter's box and bunt the ball, but you got to understand, too, from our perspective, this was our Babe Ruth who's been practicing for the past few months, who's got a brand new baseball bat and finally <laughs> steps up to the batter's box and we're like, let's go, baby! And then he's like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, it's I think we, that kind of season, you know, we were talking behind the scenes too a little bit about like this topic being it's 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 a big topic because whether you want to say graphics are important or not, whatever, but like it, this is the kind of thing that people really talk about, right? There's a lot of buzz behind that. This is a big change. Even Theric talking about expectation, right? Is expectation, and now we're going to something else. But you, we need to be brought into more of why this happened. Right, and we we need more detail. Mm -hmm. uh, we we need a little yeah. bit more. Even even if you want to drag that out just a little bit more to 
to give me some deets, I would have been I would have been content with that. But yeah, and Sab just said something. Um, she said uh, they're all nose to the ground right now, and I can sure. understand that. Um, you know, I think I just think that the lead up to this could have been you know communicated a little clearer so we knew this was exactly what we we're getting and we'd have been prepared for it and then it yeah. wouldn't even be that big of a deal and we didn't know they got nose to the ground and the problem is with a um with a uh, indie title that is crowdfunded is that you know like we need we need to know something right we always need something to latch on to so something like and i'm making up words uh, VR did not say this. I'm just giving an example. If they had said, hey, we're nose to the ground because we just switched over all the art. We're almost complete, blah, blah, blah. Um, we're going to show you guys it in motion so you can really get a feel for what we're going for here. We think it's very short, but it'll give you a much better feel than the couple of screenshots we've given you so far. But just so you know, we're super busy because in December, we're planning something yeah. huge yeah. or whatever, right? And then you're like, okay, cool. We're getting something short now because they're so right. busy. And that's a good thing. We want you to be busy. We would rather you be making the game than keeping us entertained with video content for sure. But we need to know that because yeah. we're invested. I, because we planned the whole P plus U for this. <laughs> and we're all here and I arranged everybody. And it's like, uh. No, even, even with a short video, like we, we said, oh boy, this might actually be a long people see you because just because it's yeah. such a short video right yeah. that that become that becomes the story which i think is what we're all sort of getting at is we don't want that to be the story right. you know the story should be like oh so this means pantheon might get to alpha sooner because they made this concession because whatever performance because to reach a broader audience because they couldn't they didn't want to compete with ashes of creation right i get that and that's what i, I said ben earlier that's what joppa said and i think that stuck with me too it's like that's smart don't compete with Ashes. You're not going to do it. You know, yeah, you're, no. you're, you're using a different engine. It's not it's even not, fair. It's not even fair. So be your own thing. And I get that. But you, if you're making this drastic of a change, you need to sort of reassure the community that it's, it's, there's a concession. Something yeah. is, we're getting something back for this sort of shift. Yeah. All right. Let's let Doug Bug go. I think he's got some stuff to do. And let's get a, another voice in here. I do want to mention that, like, um, I don't know where all this is going to go. I know some people are could be possibly upset, but we need to keep it civil tonight. Just throwing that out yeah. there. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't told that. Though. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> so let's, we all have opinions. If you know, and, and if you don't like it, you can. We would. I want to hear all the sides of everybody's story. So I want to hear from people that like it. I want to hear from people that don't like it. Um, just keep it respectful. Yeah, and also, as Des said, uh, we need to respect NDA. If you are a VIP, please don't share information that is VIP only. That's a good point. Thanks for dropping in, uh, hopping in there, Doug Bug. Appreciate yep, it. Thanks, Doug Bug. Thanks, man. All right, who's next? All right. I think it's uh, it's let... Dealer's Choice now, Derek. Yeah, I'm just going to go from the bottom up. We're going to start with Mr. Carpentire. Sweet. Oh, Mr. C. He said something about a two-hour um, dialogue, uh, diatribe, something like that. <laughs> ready to go. And Mr. C, he's always got something to say. What do you got to say tonight, Mr. C? I have so many things to say, like Pop-Tarts, <laughs> that's a good thing to say, and uh, yeah. Art, that's a good that's, thing to say. That's one. What, what else? <laughs> I just wanted to say, uh, I'm, I've... I've known about the art, and I don't, this doesn't bring in India. I've known about the art, and I'm still conflicted about it because for a long time we've been sitting here like this game needs a style because if it doesn't get a style, then it's going to get outdated really quickly, and then people are going to say it's ugly and blah blah blah. But on the other hand, and and the positive of that is that we have gotten a lot of art new art you know how long have we had the grayscaled bears and deer and snakes a while you know mm -hmm. they've, they've needed been updated for a while True. but on the other end it's like i feel like they may have made the decision a little too late uh because they've been working on new models ever since the new hdrp they've been working on the same old models for such a long time mm-hmm and it feels like i don't know it's, it's i'm just extremely conflicted because it's like yeah we do need the style we do need the, the graphics but did they did they drag their heels a little bit too long working 
with the older models and the older styles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, one of the things that I, I saw online somewhere, I think it was on Reddit, somebody had actually referenced the newsletter from September of 2022 when they hired a bunch of the new artists came online. I think it was three of them. Um, and they gave, you know, that was when they did the update and they showed some chainmail armor, 3D models, and they were talking about, you know, bringing art up to the final stages. You know, it's it's the problem is, is that there's been a lot of previous, you know, language that's implied. This is what Pantheon is going to look like. This is what Pantheon is going to look like, right? Um, and, and I mean, you can go back, you can look at those newsletters, you can find them there. They're there for you to see. And um, so it's tough. It's tough to constantly um, feel like you're seeing this is what you're seeing. This is what the game's going to look like. You know, this could change next year. You know, there could be another issue that could come up, something could change. And that's, you know, that's it's just being realistic. That's a, that's a nature of a game in development, right? You always, you know, nothing's final until it gets to, you know, much further down the road. Not in pre-alpha ever. So, yeah. nothing's nothing's set in stone. And that's that's something that I think I'll speak for myself. You know, I've had to learn throughout this whole process of being a, you know, a quote unquote super fan of this game. Um, is that you have to, you cannot get locked in on anything. You got to stay open to things, and that's easier said than done. Um, I just want to point out, Sav said a couple of things. I don't know that this has been public knowledge before this, um, but she says that the new models will be in the next PA test and that the next PA test I... is end of September, early October. Um, oh, so they're thinking possibly in the next week, maybe? Yeah. I mean, end of September, possibly early October. We're talking the next two, three weeks, right? Yeah. Nice. Well, that... Mm -hmm. uh, here, so... Here's the thing. I'm not talking about me when I say this, okay? I'm not talking about me. <laughs> I'm just saying that if you let some some streamers, and it doesn't have to be me, but just let some streamers show the world emotion playing it, that is really going to show some, you know, what's up. You know you're what saying, I mean? It's gonna, you're saying you're a volunteer, that, that you do I mean. Ready. I would volunteer or get voluntold willingly. Okay. <laughs> voluntold. <laughs> That's good. Hey, hey, we're all streamers here. Some That's more right. we got five streamers in the room right now. So I didn't good. say it had to be me. I did not say it had to be me. I'm just saying somebody. So five player group ready to go. Um in a week. We expect our answers tomorrow. <laughs> all right, I will hit up Mr. Dean. We all will now that you said that. Yeah. Mr. Dean's email's about to get flooded. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, to show that, to show that, even even the, we talk about the animation and the motion and stuff, right? Like that's that's I think the biggest deal here is uh, I, I don't care so much that they're changing, uh, but I want I want the animation to look good. I want it to look smooth. Uh, Doug Bug said that, and I think too uh, I, I agree with you, Mister C, too. That like I, I guess the biggest shock for me here isn't that they're changing it; it's that I didn't think there was the need for a change. I expected. We already had the the Greg saw. Was it going to get fine tuned? Yes, but right. you know, yeah, yeah. And I and, think and that I feel that too. Yeah, I think I think also the majority of the worry from the community is we need to see that the progress is faster somehow. So, however, VR can communicate that to us that it really did speed up development. A lot of our worries and concerns are going to melt away as soon as we see, right, get shown, not told, kind of kind of thing. That's going to leave a massive majority of the community because I think a lot of them are just like, yeah, we were told it's going to speed up when X, Y, Z, right? Now we're getting told it's going to speed up because of this. Mm -hmm. um, so, and once again, I believe them 100%. I'm not saying I'm in doubt. I'm just saying that is definitely overwhelmingly the comments and things get told to me in streams etc as we're discussing this for since it got announced yeah, yeah i mean it's good to remind everybody that like we're all pro pantheon still like <laughs> yes absolutely. <laughs> we're, we're, absolutely we're arguing over the details right but right. we we still uh we're still believers um there Heck are yeah. there are certain pockets of the internet that are not uh, but that is not us um, <laughs> right. Wait, but wait, wait. we see, but we, as content creators, we hear. Oh, they're yeah. the loudest people. Okay, mm -hmm. is the the negative people are always the loudest. So we feel it, and it does yeah. affect us. It does Dude. affect us. 
Dude, because we hear it 24-7. you have to delete ridiculous, like, comments off your videos, it, it it's hurtful, yeah. right? Like, you yeah. can't not feel that. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, Mr. C. Love you. Uh, here, we'll give Mr. C a little shout out here. Yeah. Gracias, and gracias. Thanks for coming. Check out and, Mr. Uh, C on Saturday playing Myth Force with us. Woo! <laughs> oh, my. Let's see if I can find him. There's so many people, I can't even find him. You need I'll also, <laughs> also, Savanya just confirmed uh, streamer privilege, so that's good for me. Oh, nice. Uh, you get the, you're good to go it's now? Good for us. It's good for us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, Mr. C. Thanks for stopping yeah. in. Man. Thanks for coming. Always a pleasure. Have, have a good one. Yeah, thanks, Mr. C. Oh, All right. There it was. I saw it. <laughs> so while Jack's finding the link, there it is. Nice. <laughs> Who we got next here? How about we'll go. Okay, so let's go with Manor Rohan. He was next on the list going up from the bottom. So, Manor Rohan, unmute yourself and we'll bring you in. While we're waiting, waiting for Manor Rohan, let's get in a little uh, Therix Rainbow here. Here we go. Jen can write anything. Tales to grow, it's the law you know. On Ferrick's Rainbow. Ferrick's Rainbow. Ferrick's Rainbow. Ferrick's Rainbow. Ah, uh, everybody needs a little Ferrick's Rainbow in their life. <laughs> or if you haven't watched that whole video, you need to uh, go over there and do that. It's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Amanda, Amanda Rohan, you, you certainly had nothing to do with that, did you? You are not involved in the creation of that. I feel like it's my theme song now. <laughs> like, it is. Every time you show up, we have to play it, right? Yeah, I, uh, it was fun to do. So, um, man, I... I uh, How are you feeling? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, man, I'm a little gobsmacked. Um, let's see here. So, as Dang. one not in the know, there's, you know, you you see this two screenshots a few weeks ago, and then seeing the, um, uh, I don't want to comment yet on this, the size of the video, um, or the length of the video, um, and there's lots of euphemisms in there, isn't there? Um, <laughs> there sure is. Uh, with, it was very, it was very... Yeah, the, the girth of the video, maybe? The the video. Um, <laughs> so, I, let me start with the stuff I liked. Um, then we'll move on to other things. So, like I like the Algram um, animation a lot. Um, oh, there! Look, he's right on screen. Perfect. Um, and then I like the bat. Um, I like the Griffin. I can't wait to buy him in the mount store. <laughs> um, no flag mounts. Uh, the, Griffin was my, the Griffin was my favorite too. I agree with you there, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, I like. Um, and I agree with Doug Bug for sure in regards to animations. Uh, that is probably the most important um but i would i would offer um the second most important to just uh Im immerse immersing immersing yourself in the world is the feel of the movement of your character mm -hmm. not just the animation mm -hmm. but when i go left what does that look like and feel like yeah like when i'm hitting the a key when i'm moving when i'm changing my camera is that smooth? Does it feel more natural? And then when I hit something, what's the reaction on the screen? You know, when I hit I one, you know, is it is it immediately doing something or is there some sort of weird lag or is there some sort of thing that doesn't look like it reacted to my move? So that's yep. super important. Um, and I, I think, I think I, you know, I'll comment on the uh, graphics in just a sec, but um, the, the lighting is also super uh, important. So... Um, aside from it being uh, hand painted, aside from it looking, uh, you know, there were uh, lots of comments about whatever, uh, looking like wow, looking like whatever. That's fine. I don't care as much. Um, I don't prefer this style, but I don't mind it. Um, I I think that if the lighting is done well, if it's dramatic enough, if it um, if it feels cohesive, like a, like a world, um, and and the animations are good, and the feel of my character is good, then great. Uh, I yeah. think all of that can uh, allow me to feel like, hey, I'm making movements in the world, the world I can see around me, I, the things are in a scale that makes sense, the lighting makes sense, and then you can just feel like you're in the world. So I think that's it's, super important. It's almost kind of like, no matter what style they choose, if, if the animation and the lighting wasn't done well, 
and mm-hmm. fitting that style, you would still feel it. Like, you would notice it would be disconcerting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Minus had mentioned earlier in the comments, he said that uh, we actually showed our first shot in darkness to our VIPs, but it's early. Um, so, honestly, like you're talking about, if the lighting is really good, um, and, you know, when they do show off, like, nighttime with some lanterns, you know, some, a little bit of light, especially that awesome thunderstorm that they showed a while back, things like that are really going to uh, make this, I think, look freaking beautiful. You know, yeah, right. yeah, and that's another point is the atmosphere. Like, um, how how shall they do the the misty look? Like that was, you know, I remember including myself. People were talking about I'm feeling the feels, you know, uh, and I agree. If if they can pull that off in here, then great. Then I think that sells it. Even even in some of these screenshots, looking at the shadows of the trees, I think it's good. Like. There are many, many examples of that. You know, um, let's go back to uh, EverQuest Landmark. Um, you know, that was a very stylized, cartoony look. Oh, yeah. But you run through the forest, and the way that the light's coming through the trees and all of that it was was super cool. And um, I, I think you can absolutely pull it off. Yeah. So, I, you know, overall, I think they made they're making the right choice and i think they should have made it a long time ago yeah um, and that's exactly the, the last part there i think is where i don't you know, more than the art style more than the, the stylistic concerns it's, it's the process right it's yeah, the process yeah. concerns is where where i would lean more in terms of mm-hmm. a concern than i mean they know what they're doing you know they want to they have these their reasons but how you know, it's it's late in the day. You know, it feels yeah. late in the day for it for a change like this, and it feels yeah, like yeah. somebody should have picked up on this maybe earlier. You know, like why was mm-hmm. this? How much? Yeah, I think I think lost? if if it would have been shown, which this is impossible, I understand. But just to give a little context, if it would have been shown to look like this when Brad McQuaid announced Pantheon, right? Ninety-eight percent of the entire community would have been totally okay with it, right? Mm-hmm. Its expectations have gotten a little. Uh, you know, different than what it has become, and and, and that's okay. Uh, that's okay. And 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 I've said this before. I do believe that outside of the community here already, that they're going to like this because they didn't come in with expectations, right? They're just mm-hmm. right now about yeah, Pantheon, yeah. or yeah. they're just now being like, yeah. oh, this now looks like a product that I could actually imagine is releasing sometime soon. Now, and, and or it didn't have that feeling thing. before. Yeah, and there's a lot of games coming out right now that look like this. Like, yeah, sure. Paleo, Paleo looks like this. You know, uh, yeah. you know, there's plenty of examples of games using this art style currently, and that's, you know, I guess it's good. You know, you want to feel modern. I saw somebody say the old graphical style looked like like a Unity school project or something like that. And I, I like you've seen our streams. You know how I thought it looked great in game. Once you're in the game, it feels good. It looks good to me. It looked, it looked way way more than that. But, you know, different tastes. But, um, yeah, it, it does bring in a bigger audience. You know, I think this is a modern look that has become widely accepted. So I, I get it. I would love to be a fly on the wall for the discussion that happened yeah. with them in, in regards yeah, to all this. Because they, they, they've got to know. They've got to yeah. know all of this, right? They've got to know, hey, we've been in development this long. This is what we've shown. Okay. Uh, I'm sure this is what the community expects and everything. Uh, so the decision... I, I got to assume this decision was not made lightly and what's going on that made them decide this. And my first thought goes to, you know, we have been in development a long time. We, we get a lot of comments about that. What can we do? What are yeah. the things that we can do? And yeah, this, yeah. This seems to be just one of those things that, hey, if this is going to speed us up, if this is one of those things that can speed us up, let's do it. Yeah, and maybe not, kill two birds with one stone with the, you know, the anim- the animations look clunky and whatever. Uh, I, I do want to say this too. I'm not going to name any names here, okay? Because um, it was a private conversation. But I will say it's not under NDA or anything. It was just a private conversation. So, out of respect for the person, I'm not going to name any names. But I was talking to a developer who has an MMO. We'll say in almost finished state. Let's just say that, okay? and uh, who is working in Unity. 
And um, he did tell me he is not shocked at all by the news, this graphic change, that he wished he would have thought of this. It's too late for him uh, and his team, right? But he does agree that working in Unity with the scope that Pantheon has, this is the only intelligent course for mm-hmm. him. So another developer has nothing to do with VR, and that in our conversation, that's almost word for word what he said. So... And I, I can agree with that. I think they just made the hard call, but the only intelligent call to get this done. That's what I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm on a development team. I you know I I'm responsible for delivering things every quarter, every every release. And there's sometimes you have to make decisions that are really hard. But you know, recently I had to push stuff off to 2024 because we just couldn't scale properly, and that's just the way it is. And and I totally get it. So. I'm not disappointed in that at all. Um, my mm-hmm. only real disappointment is the delivery uh, tool tonight. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. we for those of us again not in the know, which is most of us. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, for those of us that are uh, that are pledgers and even not um, that aren't involved in the VIP things, waiting months to see a four minute video is I don't, it might have been longer yeah, yeah, yeah. is um kind of a kick in the teeth um for us that have been waiting so um i am very disappointed with that um yeah, i think sure. i totally agree with the hey guys here's a video we're going to come out we're going to plan something really important for later in the year here's something just um we've been working really hard i totally agree nathan that's that's what i would have done um you know because whether they like it or not um and I'm not I'm not casting aspersions, by the way, or anything like that. But whether anyone likes it or not, when you have crowdfunding, we are the board of directors, um, all of us, and we're saying we want answers in some way. We, we we're we're giving you a lot of latitude to do that. Um, how, however much I I pledge or anyone else pledges, we mm-hmm. are we're trust we're putting our trust in you to to uh, come back with something that's awesome. Yeah. And something that I really want to play, and because we believe in you, and I and tr- and and truthfully, I totally do. But you know, there are there are things that um, response uh, response to the community in this way sometimes is just it's hard to do. I get it, but uh, it was a uh, it was uh, a, a ball dropped. Yeah, um, and that's my that's my sour note. I'll I'll end with a sour note. Um, <laughs> no, no, here I'll end with a good note. I still totally believe in them. I still think they're doing great, making a great product overall. I still think they're an amazing team. Um, it just, yeah, that's it. I won't yeah. say anything bad. I'll just end with that. Terry that's School said he, he would have taken a five-minute video if they would have shown some new races. I think I would have to agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, if they would have shown right. something other than human, that would, that might that might have changed my, my thing. <laughs> For yeah. anybody who's ever been catfished. It's same feeling, same feeling, yeah. yeah. Same feeling. Okay, well, uh, all right, we got to keep the ball the moving room. here. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. The room continues to fill up, so yeah, we'll talk to you soon, Ben Ryan. All right, yep, here's, a, easy, here's a she shanty while uh, Theric finds uh, another uh, uh, contestant. Contestant. Soon may the Pantheon come to bring us friends and MMO fun. One day when the beta is done, we'll all log in and go. <gasps> All right. Well, on that note, let's hear from somebody new that we haven't talked to. Bring in Bell666. So, Bell, I see you are already unmuted. So if you're ready to go, I'm going to drop you into the live chat here and we'll say hi. Bell, how's it going? Yeah, I'm I'm here. I'm here. Welcome to Pantheon Plus U for the first time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. It's so late for me here in Sweden, but I'm happy to be here in this short video premiere of the new style of Pantheon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, it's so crisp, man. I love this new art style. Yeah. It's incredible, and it's like 200 plus more sauce than what we we'll ever have. <laughs> yeah. so, I really weird. love this. I yeah. really love this new style. It's really pop. The, nice. the, 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 the animals pop, the grief and pop. Uh, I'm sure that Nathan's uh, nipples will pop later. <laughs> When the paladin comes, they oh yeah, it. you better believe it. They, they've been showing the paladin this whole time. That's been the paladin. I, I don't yeah, know if yeah. I'm the only one, but they've been showing them. Yeah, the yeah. new armor is like super crisp. Yeah. yeah, I love I love the positivity. It is crisp. It does look 
like I said, I've always liked it. I just have to represent the entire community sometimes when I talk. But I, as soon as I seen this, I was like, this makes sense. This feels like the way Pantheon should be moving forward. And I like it. It does look appeasing to me. It looks good to me. And I was not a World of Warcraft fan either. But there's just something about this in 2023 to me that looks really appealing. It just does. I don't know why. You think this is going to appeal to a wider audience, Bell? Do you think? This yeah, is- yeah, yeah. I, I think this gonna be. This was really the smart move uh, to to actually decide on in which direction you actually gonna take this project. It, it needed to be. They couldn't look like they did before, like being store assets or assets from Unity. It, it needs to have uh, an, its own identity to to really set the footprint in the gaming industry and and it's really it's really important for the game to have its own vibe its own atmosphere uh, it's so like it's and this makes it pop this makes it like finding this place where it need to be mm-hmm. yeah signature yeah. look yeah. yeah and concept art it looks it's so much look i'm not a developer but i think that it would be so much easier to look exactly like the concept art with this art style so like environments i there's probably not many people out here that don't like the environments i would assume i think that looks fantastic i think it's the character art and the things that some people have a problem with and to be honest i think some of that's small details that will change because the screenshot of the griffin don't like it saw it in motion thought it looked cool you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the wolves are the same way. They they, they don't look good at the picture when when moving. They they look fantastic. Yeah. But uh, and same for the bear that is in the picture now. Like yeah, mm-hmm. very, very nice, very nice crisp movements. And I also think the new that when they come up with new like biomes or like new new maps, it will be very easy to just apply new monsters, get more content out quicker now when they have an easier art style to work with and having this very realistic approach. Mm. So, yep. So, yep. So I, I agree. Go faster. Yeah, and that's that's what we all want. We just want to we want to get there sooner with high quality game that we all want to play. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. And maybe at some point Oh, I was going to say, you know, uh, we compare it, we're comparing it a lot. And I mean, that's what we do as humans, right? We're comparing it to other things that we're used to. Hopefully they come at this with, with that uh, unique style that someday we're comparing other things to Pantheon as well, right? We're used to it. We got the game we want. This is what we've grown to love, uh, you know, like other games. Um, and, and maybe someday we're saying, yeah, this looks like Pantheon. Uh, mm-hmm, so yeah. hopefully this gives them that opportunity to really, like you said, bell uh come up with their own style their own this is the pantheon bell you have yeah. prompted essen the pole master to go into motion and <laughs> he has put up a poll in chat so you can vote new art style better now no, or not better uh so yeah. make sure you get your, get your I, I will, votes I'll, in there i'll vote later when i'm getting out of, of this uh, <laughs> call <laughs> yeah that was good yeah uh, yeah, right. Um, good, good to talk to you all, guys. You it's too. Thanks, yeah, for thanks, you. Man. thanks for staying up late. Yeah. Right on. See you yeah, next I time. Love, I love that we yeah. got some positivity. And I just want to say that, of course, we were going to be, the community is going to be a little uh, weird about it because we still haven't even agreed on the Valleys graphics, okay? But, you know, <laughs> after all these years. <laughs> we still call that the new graphics. We, so. Yeah, or, or EverQuest 2, like those. Those traders that use the alternate uh, graphics for EverQuest Two well, are also you know, true. Yeah, true. Right. Well, Bell, we'll see you next time. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Later, Bell. Yeah. See ya. Very positive. Right. That was great. I never. You always never know with a new uh, new person coming in what to expect, and that was that was excellent. So love, yeah, love the positive. It's energy. good that the the so maybe some of the newer community uh, is uh, really digging it. Yeah, so Pops, let's balance. As he let's said. balance. Let's balance that oh, positivity. I know who we're bringing in. <laughs> yeah, you know, let's balance the positivity with a little bit of, you know, let's let's. We're coming a little back bit down to down. earth. We're coming yep. back down. Here comes Desrin, our our daily dose of of downerism. <laughs> Desrin, whoa, whoa, whoa. Desrin.
Bring us down to earth. Oh, tell, us why, tell us why we should not feel good about this. Well, I I was actually typing in Discord. I didn't even know you guys were going. I was expecting to go last, you know, like like usual. But I guess it's it's been so long. We're out of practice, right? So yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, we had too much positivity just now. So <laughs> see, come on. see now you now you're just like setting me up. Totally setting you up. 100%. It's gonna be a roller coaster. It keeps people, you know, from clicking and watching something else. Yeah. Dizzy oh downrange says fate. <laughs> but now I'm like I'm locked in. Like I have to be negative, and I don't I don't like that. No. 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 Um, how don't about like, this? Don't let that put those chains on you, Dad. You yeah, do whatever you want. Yeah. Don't let that keep you down. Here, here's the roller coaster for me. Okay. The, the video started. And that mm-hmm. first shot. That first shot. I was like, oh. I was like this the my first thought was like this actually is starting to be like kind of close to Project Fairthale like in a way um I know y- you guys are on like cycling it right now but um I have it up on the second monitor uh just like checking out that that first opening shot after the Pantheon logo looks amazing or at least See, I can't, I can't say amazing. It looks pretty good and at least in the direction that I was going to be the most possibly excited for. <laughs> um, Good. But then, like, the video kept going, and I'll admit, like, I I think it still needs work uh, for me. Um, I'm also not a fan of uh, the super stylized graphics anywhere. Like, I, I was totally, like, one of those folks back in the day of playing EQ2 with my, you know, realistic fantasy, quote-unquote, and given wow people like i'm like oh man i, I don't really want to play a comic book you know that was totally me back in the day so realistic fantasy it's still it's just my preference and uh looking back like project fair Thale, that's like the realistic fan like that was the standard that i was expecting and uh and so yeah it's pretty it's pretty bracing to <laughs> to to do such a big swing um yeah. But when it comes down to it, if they if they couldn't maintain that, you know, if mm-hmm. if they they couldn't pull that off, so got to move yeah. forward somehow, you know. Yeah. I was looking back at the um, the newsletter from from August actually, um, because I, I remembered them saying something about you know there is a more explanation for the reason for the changes in that newsletter, right? And uh, they did talk in the newsletter about performance being a problem, right? And then I'll just quote from the newsletter saying, we have run into difficulty with former art performing well on even the beefiest of machines. We've made progress on this front, but ultimately determined we could get better gains by a shift in style. That was missing from the video. I don't think there was any mention. Correct me if I'm wrong, Des, but like, did they mention the challenges from like a performance standpoint in the video at all? Um, or maybe any of you, if, if you remember. I mean, that. I was kind of scrambling <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to yeah, take yeah. notes, right? Um I, I believe they did. That. I they believe did? they okay. did. I think okay. at one point they did mention something to that effect. So it was about a performance, performance better. Yeah. About it okay. running better, yeah. Yeah, yeah. performance yeah. is really important. And, and and let's keep in mind, too, that was part of the original vision, too, was that it run on lots of machines. It'd be mm-hmm. an easier yeah. game to run, et cetera. That was part of the vision. So it, Yeah, if you watch really old streams, actually, like going back really old streams, you even hear like Brad saying, you know, emphatically, like, you know, the, the game runs on a, on a low end machine right now. Like it runs yep. really well, and even though that's a, you know, it was before the refactor, before everything. That was part of his vision was to have this accessible, this accessibility to everybody. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Random Rob. Right. Cause he, he was, can tell you about that. He was, <laughs> yeah. I was about to say Red Rob's in, in chat. Like can't wait till he pops in and gives his two cents. But <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's, in the, yeah. he's in the green room. We will hear from random Rob. Anything else uh, does. So, uh, something that wasn't mentioned, I actually really did like the narration, um, that they did. It kind of like set the mood and tone, um, to be at least a little bit more positive and inspiring. Um, like I, I thought that was great. I, I also thought that was just the intro. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it was, we were uh, all, like waiting for yeah, like, I'm like, Oh, what's yeah. coming next? This is a great intro. What's coming next? <laughs> exactly. I was like that. I was like, that was a pretty good intro. Like I'm, you know, I, like I said, I'm not like, th- this is always going to not feel good to me. Uh, honestly, like just the the complete change and 
and it's like at least there's like environmental shadows like at least there's some stuff and they can it's, it's probably going to improve a little bit but this definitely on a positive and negative side like this feels more final um yeah yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. and it, it, it in a good way it's like oh this is this feels final like we're feels, approaching end game <laughs> don't even say that <laughs> <laughs> but, I couldn't bait Des into it there. I couldn't bait him. No, <laughs> it, was a, it was a valiant attempt. I give you credit for it. But like, it, it, on a good side, it's like, yeah, I could see the the whole cohesive thing. It's like, yes, it's more like cohesive. I I could see it, and I'm like, all right, this. When I look at this video, I'm like, this is the pantheon I'm going to get now. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm, you know, I just kind of get to forget about Project Fairthale and and you know all that stuff, and you know <laughs> it. It, it, it's never not going to hurt. Yeah. It's never not going to yeah. hurt. But I think you know, I, I think I share accept. that pain with you. I think I share that pain with you. Yeah, I, I will always have a soft spot for the way it used to look. You know, and and again, it's it's more. I, I feel like, you know, I fell in love with it a little bit more deeply because I had maybe more opportunities to actually play in that world. You know, so maybe it's just affecting me a little more than everybody else. But like, yeah, it's 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 a thing. You know what? That is yeah. a, that is a great point. Eric, that you bring up is the VIP testers that we've been testing this game, the once a month testing that we've been doing, you know, all year for um, all year long. We have fell in love with the graphics because we've been yeah. we've been in there and we've been doing us, it. Yeah. And so, yeah, so it's I think I think that's part of it. It's harder for us to let it go because we're like, well, wait, yeah. I, well, we were had so we have memories in that thing. Yeah, right. it's like at, at the end of the day, though, it's like you know, even if we were falling in love with that, I mean, uh, sorry, I have to think about how to word this. We should have um, known. We should have known better. Is that what you're looking for? Because you're no, right. What, I would what agree I'm, with you if you said that. I, I'm get. I'm getting at is we. You know, the biggest criticism of Pantheon is that there, we've been in one zone basically for, you know. A very long time and uh you know yeah i guess that that probably should have been a sign that you know mm-hmm. uh because uh, what's the question that always comes up every time there's a q a or you know <laughs> a, a, you know in chat it's like when are we going to get new zones when are we going to get new races new you yeah. know new this yeah. new this and th- and it's always like you know we're working on it and then you know we just haven't gotten stuff <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I guess it's kind of, you know, an inevitable thing. And uh, to the credit of, you know, when, uh, whenever they're going to say they started this conversion, right, to this point is, you know, at least a gradient or a, a, a kind of runway for what we can expect. And it is faster. Um, so that's, that's a positive, right? Like we are moving yeah. somewhere because um, it, it sounds like we're kind of, uh, at parody now, right? We have we got thrown fast and uh, all. Uh, actually, even a little bit beyond parody because we've got creatures that we didn't have before, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. like yeah. that's the positive side of it for sure. Yeah. Well, we uh, we uh, we got to keep moving here, Des, because oh yeah, yeah, let's more go. people keep jumping. As Des, show that was not on. nearly sad enough for me. Like the, not yeah. not down <laughs> enough. Maybe maybe somebody yeah. else can we- can fill in. We'll have, yeah. we'll have Joppa bring us back up. Here we go. Excited. <laughs> Onward and upward. <laughs> All right, Des. All right, thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, Des. Later, Des. Hey, Des. All right, well, since he got brought up recently, let's let's bring in Random Rob with the... Uh, there we go. With the dimension. Prepare so he for needs, the juggle. <laughs> he needs to be in here juggling. What's up, Rob? Hey. Oh, man. Hey. Not away from the stream, but I got... <laughs> Turn your stream off before you before you uh, join oh, the I channel. <laughs> it is muted. So how are you guys? What's up, oh, Rod? That's going good. Yeah, hanging in there. Well, oh, yeah. uh, no juggles for me tonight because mm-hmm. I feel like VR already got kind of a massive juggle from that amazing <laughs> intro that they got from YouTube. <laughs> like, they the graphics, this, that's perfect. The <laughs> graphics on that were good, and the intro was like super long, and I'm like pumped up and ready for the stream and then then the stream's like not as long as the intro and it's like okay (laughs) if they if they had used the robot one that's available as well if they had chosen a different one it might have it might have been longer and outshone the the stream but 
that one because of the one they selected wasn't quite as good. I still think this, okay. the, the video was better. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it, uh, everything I say comes from a place of love because I've been following sure. this project since 2016. Uh, so, I mean, it's it's been a long time, and I'm still here, still following it, still going to follow it. And, I mean, like us all, we all want this project to succeed. Mm -hmm. But it has been a rough couple months. But yes. uh, as far as this graphics thing, the like the art project and everything, like I just don't really care about the graphics, right? I mean, yeah. I I play EverQuest all the time. I mean, people are still playing WoW all the time. It's not about the graphics. It's about a great MMO. Mm -hmm. So when I think of a game, I, I think of like the needs that I need for a game and the wants. So the needs that I need for a game is a game that's going to be really performant. And as you guys were talking with Dez, I mean, this this art form is going to help that game be performant because they kind yeah. of seems like painted themselves into a corner to where, I mean, with old art st style, things just weren't working the way they wanted it to. Yeah. So with this art style, if it's performant and if it works good on my amazingly old graphics card that's great for me that's a need <laughs> that that i'm gonna need so i don't really care about the art style but if the if it makes the game perform it that's awesome so that that checks that box for me and what i want in an mmo is a game where a lot of people are going to play and i want a populated world and if people are going to love this art style then that checks that box for me too and even if, no. even if uh, they don't love the art style, but it, they also care about the performance, right? Like if you yeah. have somebody coming in with that older computer and they need something that's going to run on them, uh, yeah. you know, and run smoothly for when you're in a group, I, yeah, more power to them. So. Yeah, yeah I, that's the way I feel. I mean, the one negative, and it's already been kind of talked about before, is that, I mean, like you were saying, Therick, is it's late in the day for the art form to be changed mm -hmm. which s sucks right i mean i mean we can all agree with that it's it's a bummer mm -hmm. but yeah. uh, eventually they i mean they i think they tried everything they could to to make things work as is but i think like like i said they just kind of got painted into a corner and yeah and that's where that's and that's where i kind of become okay with it is it when it's when it was done out of necessity when it was done out of uh, 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 they had no other option. Like I get it, and that's the thing. When it, if it was, if the if it was only done to bring a wider appeal to a wider audience, um, you know, for me that's that's a bit of a different a different take on it, and that I would feel maybe a little differently if it was just done something for, you know, to make the game more popular. But on the other hand, like I said, I do see the logic in it too. On that side, you want to bring in as many people as you can. It's a social group centered game, so you, it's like yeah. I said earlier, I can't have it both ways. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think a good way to look at, I think, an indie development project is when you look at the starting line where you start a project in the finish line, it's not, if you draw a line between it, that that's the race that you're racing, right? That's the, the progress line that you're trying to get. And it's not a straight line. Like you wish it would be a straight line that you could just sprint right from the start mm -hmm. to the finish. But it's more like when a three year old is trying to color in some sort of a, a project where i mean there's squiggly lines and you're like doing loop de loops and it's just that's just kind of the nature of the beast there's there's yeah. going to be three steps forward one step back and i mean eventually you get there and it's just kind of a learning curve but yeah yeah making that's progress. like you said we're Terry, all still here right? Terry school so. brings up an interesting point um he says is it getting wider appeal or is it just shifting the audience that it appeals to I mean, it's probably doing both. Yeah. It's a some regard, right? There's some people mm -hmm. who literally will not play a game with this graphic style. I mean, that's just the facts. There just is. But there are a lot more people who will play a game with this graphic style. So I would say they got a lot younger with this graphic style. Like, they moved yeah. out of the, um, the old people realm into the younger realm. Even if Younger's is like 30s. Both parts are going to play a good game no matter what, that's, right? That's hard to do, Yeah, yeah it's true. Those young 30-year-olds. Those, those 30 whippersnappers, you know? Oh, my gosh. 
What's funny about all of that, too, is I remember the very first comment I made about WoW. As I was coming in hot from EverQuest and Star Wars Galaxies, or, or, you know, Star Wars Galaxies around that same time, but I remember the first thing I told my friend when he told me about this World of Warcraft was, man, these graphics suck. That's the first <laughs> thing I said about it, you know? Yeah. And, and when it came down to it, when I got to playing with my friends and we had a good experience, whether you like WoW or not, we had fun as a group. I mean... Mm -hmm the idea of the graphics yeah. and how I about them melted away. And then it becomes something where now they're endearing to me because I spent so much time there, right? And as someone else said, I think uh, uh, Doug, Doug Bug was saying, you know, to the animations, right? The animations are a big deal. Um, and it's a big deal for a lot of people. So I think, like, yes, we may have lost some people, but I think, like you're saying, Nathan, the vast majority of people are going to stick around and, and maybe we bring in some more people too that you know hey now this is visually appealing let me find out more about this and then come to find out hey this is going to be a really fun social social game and i'm going to stick around and but here's my question like the people that were lost were they really here in the first place i mean if the graphics is going to be the one thing right yeah, yeah. yeah. Away. Man, i'm wrong I'm taking some that. swings tonight <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let me say this. If this was the year 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, then I would understand somebody in our demographic who would walk away due to graphics, okay? But in 2023, we've waited since 1999 for somebody to have a vision like this for an MMO. It is a little shocking for somebody to walk away because of graphics. Like, bro, what are you playing then? Just, please, please tell me, yeah, because if dude. there's something that is good yeah. enough for you to play right now that I must not know about it, because this is as close to the vision of EverQuest that we have. So who who cares about graphics at that point? I, I want them to be better than EverQuest. That's all I want. That's all. Yeah. I want. Redbeard I mean, Flynn, we call this, that's, we call that Hills and Tribes on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this puts a greater emphasis on the gameplay being good. I'll say that, you know, like I think this this makes makes yeah yeah you know that a higher priority, and I think it makes that a higher you know that'll be the benchmark by which this game is judged, not on the graphics anymore. It'll just be judged on gameplay. So, you know, the way it should be. Yeah, right. as it should be. Yeah, exactly. All right, Rob, we're gonna keep moving. We got more right. people to talk to. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining. <laughs> all right how about uh how about redbeard flynn uh, yeah yeah get uh, good old redbeard unmute yourself there you go here it comes red what is going on bud redbeard flynn hello everybody yeah. <laughs> hey. 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 how are you all doing doing good, good you man good i have thoughts <laughs> yeah have thoughts you never um, have thoughts. Wow. No, no, never, never have thoughts. Never. We get the pre Redbeard Flynn video thoughts right here. <laughs> on yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> they subscribe to Red's channel right now because you're going to yes, have to hear something you can take a video about. I'm going to quote him tonight. So. <laughs> I want to start out by saying, in since I found Panther, I guess what in 20, 2016 or seventeen, one of those years, there hasn't been a single time in the entire time where I have looked at Pantheon and said. These graphics are amazing. I want to play this game because these graphics are amazing. There are so many other games that have done graphics differently, better. You have, like, so many other games. Like, like I mean, the fact that, like, Ash Creation switched into Unreal Engine 5. Graphics have never, at least for me, ever been the pull for Pantheon. That's just never been a thing to me. And so when I see this shift, it's more like, there's, the question isn't, like, for me as much as, like, do I like the graphics or not? It's more like, how much closer is this getting us to launch? Yeah. Because if like, how much is this going to impact gameplay? Is it going to feel more, uh, I believe, like, Mana Rohan was talking, or someone was talking earlier about responsiveness and animations and, and things like that. And it, it brings me back to when EverQuest 2 and World of Warcraft went head-to-head, -head. one of them didn't come out that well, and there's a big reason why. And it's not just graphics and, and putting everything on the performance of a system, but also the responsiveness was not there in one of those two games. The responsiveness was in the other one. 
So if this leads to a more responsive game, people aren't going to care about the graphics and and you know after playing the game for an hour. Like it's it's just a matter of does it play well. Mm -hmm. I, that's yeah. you know like I said I don't like this style, but I also played Valheim. I love Valheim. It's fun. Yeah. It's yeah. super fun. And we were playing a game on just on the weekend. We were playing Myth Force. It's a brand new game. It has a backgrounds that look a lot like what we're seeing tonight. We noticed it when we were playing. We're like, huh, this looks like that screenshot they released, right? Like, you know, you, you can't write it off. Don't write a game off just because the way it looks. You may not like it. You may not prefer it. It may not be your choice. But you never write a game off. If you're truly, uh, you know, if you truly play games for fun, you should, I mean, you should never write off a game just because the way it looks. The only exception I would say to that is maybe like Dwarf Fortress, which I find completely incomprehensible <laughs> because of the way it looks. Other than that, I would say, you know, like, you just, it's, it's a factor. It's not the only factor. I mean, I, I know, I know Man of Rohan's favorite, favorite RPG is Pong, so <laughs> that, that's, the, that's the audience we have here. He real plays the heck out of Pong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I actually, uh, I just watched one of your recent videos, Flynn, and, it, you know, talking about, there was something that stuck out to me uh, that I've been thinking about, um, where you said, this is the game that I bought into. Mm -hmm. This is the game, like, I got in, I got to play. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell mm -hmm. you, this is the experience that I wanted. So I, th I think the shift is a shock to a lot of people, right? Because, I mean, Theric, you're saying, like, this is how I viewed the game. This was my expectation the whole time. You, you know, they've they've obviously had to make this huge shift, and it's it's been, I mean, sort of abrupt, pretty abrupt, and uh, and without a whole lot of detail. And so I think that's the part that kind of feels bad in a way. But yeah. but the fact that like you know I'm hearing you saying I got to play the game, and this is the gameplay that I that initially brought me to this game that kept my interest and has me uh, excited still like that's what i want to hear so i i care less about this announcement like do what you got to do for me to get that gameplay that i've bought into whether mm -hmm. you know bought in with my time my interest my money whatever get me that gameplay so i mean whatever the art style is at that point yeah. I'm we, good with. We I'm, are. I'm we, good. We are missing out on one of the little thing that I just thought about that I don't know why I didn't think about before because I love this type of stuff. Is those of us that are our VIP now we get to be the truly OG. Like there is no more. <laughs> like I was playing Pantheon when it was still realistic. Okay. Like, well, and I I think that's why Red is in an interesting position because you just played recently. You put yeah. out a video. You're probably the most recent content with the old graphical style. So yeah. now you're, you know, you showed off the game in one thing, and now it looks completely different. So how does that, like, how does that sit with you, Red, as a content creator? Well, first, I want to say, hi, Oren. Nice to meet you. Uh, you've hey, had some really great nice uh, takes this, uh, this, this stream. I really appreciate Thanks, it. Man. <laughs> um, and uh, so it's it's interesting being in that position, right? Because I did get to, I did get to play. I got to experience it, and. One of the things that I just really didn't mention in the video is anything about character models or anything like that. Because honestly, I didn't really like them. I didn't really like what I was what I was playing as. I didn't really like what I was fighting against as far as like graphically. What I did talk about was the environment. And I enjoyed the environment, but the most important thing to me was all about that gameplay and how the gameplay was what I had expected and what I had wanted. And I don't see any real difference happening when, when it comes to the graphics and what that, that gameplay was. You know, that's, that's what it came down to. And, like, I mean, I, I'm also a, a player that I, I have... I loved EverQuest. I played with the old graphics. I played with Luckland graphics. I played uh, World of Warcraft. I've played, you know, basically everything. But if I'm given the choice between... Uh, like different graphic styles, that's not what's going to be my determining factor. It's going to be, is the game fun? Yeah, and that will be everybody that tries the game for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're really, we're really just kind of squabbling right now because this is what we have. Um, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. No. Like this is what where we're at currently in the development. So we're all just kind of squabbling over the peanuts we got tossed today. 
You know what I mean? And let's be honest, we got tossed some peanuts today. But that's okay. But that's okay. I this is still a big step in showing that Pantheon, in my opinion, looks good. You don't have to agree with the style, but it does look good now. I think it looks appealing. I mean, all like my my complaint, Nathan, and and you might feel it too. Is I'm going to have to play this video on a loop just to do a, put a video out. Yes, like hundred percent, hundred percent. Well. In case anybody doesn't know, I know Redbeard Flid definitely does this, and so do I. This is a good trick for anybody maybe watching this. You know you're going to have to make a video about this tomorrow because it's big news. Mix in some of your face because that helps cut up, you know. The, <laughs> <laughs> it extends the video in the background. Hey, hey, you can make a short. You can make a short with this content, all right? That's where it's at. <laughs> So I'm sorry if I have to look at my face more, but, you know. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Red. Well, anything else before we uh, before we put you back to the green room? No, I, I, I think the, the last thing I just want to add is the people that are frustrated or upset, I think they're valid, too. Like, I think it's, it's because as much as I'm sitting here saying, like, you know, I don't care about the graphics and like that, people have grown attached to certain things. And there's a difference between comparing what we've seen, which was for a lot of people like they didn't like it you know a lot, like, a lot of the things that we saw in in videos and streams and everything they didn't like the the graphics but also what we were kind of a uh, promise like the things that we got to see the armor the new the new models the the t-pose models that we got to see and so there are people that are going to be upset and they're that's totally and 100 percent valid for them to feel that way and so i don't want to discount that either and it is a major change and I think it's it seeing it this late is is difficult for for a lot of people. Uh, but in the end, if it just gets us there faster, I think everybody will be happy. Well said. Yeah, I agree. That's a great great way to leave it there, Red. Thanks for jumping in, man. Yep. Thanks, y'all. Y'all have a good one. See ya. Yeah, see you, Red. Hey, and and I'd also like to just point out too that like uh, the. It's been up to like 130 people. That was kind of our top end tonight. Um, so, and that's pretty high for a people SU if you've been following us. Like we're usually around the 75 to 80. So, and we're still sitting here at 90. And what that video was five minutes. So we've been going for like an hour and a half mm -hmm. <laughs> with with yeah. 90 to 130 people in here. So people are passionate about Pantheon still. I, you mm -hmm. know, I was I was a little worried that like. Um, the break had been too long and like we weren't going to get like a reaction but like the 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 fan base is out tonight so that's that's encouraging that's exciting yeah i i kind of predicted this i thought this was yeah happen. derek was on it all the time he was like i, was like, <laughs> I don't know people people want to have their voices heard about this stuff and speaking of which i know what sarah has has uh -oh. things to say so uh sarah unmute yourself there i'll bring you into the we'll bring you into the show uh, Sarah, uh, Sarah, unmute yourself. She, oh, there we go. Up oh, there, what? There it goes. Uh, Sarah, hey, what's going on? Sarah never has things to say. Don't, don't. No, never. <laughs> nary, a, nary a thought that you haven't voiced. I never point. say anything about fruits or vegetables. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, wait, hey, Orin, good to see hey, you. Hey, good to see you, Orin. Your wife, I said hello. I will. <laughs> Yeah. So, so what's going on? What'd you think? Uh, no, Chiro, dude. The the new veg the the new vegetable is a uh, it's a fruit. It's pineapple. <laughs> Pineapple's um, a necklace. Okay, so first of all, I'm an artsy person, and I love the art style. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, and I actually really appreciated what you said, Derek, about how uh, you know, one reason it might be a hard pill for you guys to swallow is because you've been playing it as it was for so long and like that's what you know that's what you fell in love with so it's hard to like let that go or shift away from that i get that for sure um but personally i being an artsy person i love the art style i think it needs some work still but you know we aren't even in real pre-alpha yet so that's expected uh but i love this direction i think it definitely is going to give it longevity hopefully it's really going to help with performance like they talk about and help things roll out faster tbd and i would love to ha like have them show us that <laughs> mm -hmm. which kind of leads into my next thought which is the delivery tonight 
<sighs> you guys, you're killing me. Um, <laughs> but, like, I know we talk all the time about communication with Pantheon, and we'll say we want you guys to show us and not tell us, and like we are your investors, like we're the ones that are like here, you know, we've got our skin in the game or whatever. Like we're the ones that are here and we are supporting you and like we want to know what's going on. Like keep us in the loop. Show us. And then Pantheon will come back and say or VR, they'll come back and say, We are communicating with you guys way more than like any other game in development right now. Like, you know, they're basically like, what else do you want from us? <laughs> Which I mean, I get that. Like, that must be a really hard thing to balance, you know? Like, yeah. how much is enough? How much is too much? Like, you know, they know that things are changing all the time for them, so how much can they tell us now? And I I empathize with how difficult that much that must be. Yeah. I've always, um, like, I've always thought in the back of my mind since I started following this project is that if I ever developed a game, I would do it 100% behind closed doors like i would never do yeah. any publicly <laughs> like i would never do any updates it would be like i'm i'm making a game and then you wouldn't hear from me for four years and then the game would be out like it's Theric's, so hard Theric's intro video would be the launch ba boom yeah. here it yeah. is <laughs> yep. and it's yep. live yep and, and it's, it's such live. a double-edged sword it is yeah. it's such a double-edged sword and i mean you know the they open themselves up to so much criticism and everything uh just being as vocal as they are, uh, but conversely, if they don't, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who yeah. knows about Pantheon and who can pledge at that point? So yeah. it turns into a, a bit of a no-win situation sometimes for them. Yep. But you know, having said that, I think I think we can we need we would all agree there needs to be a balance between an hour and a half long Twitch stream and a five-minute YouTube premiere, right? Like there's there's yeah there's something in between there that needs to be and and the problem is is too is that the last real communication they had the, the words that they used because des and i talked about this on the on the rewind is that they were going to come out roaring in september right and, and i think that's the that's the expectation is you know mm -hmm. we're waiting for that roaring return of of pantheon as a you know as a game that um you know is in development and, and has a lot of a bright future in front of it so yeah i think that's one of the places they get into trouble um just because they are so I mean they're in it like they're living and breathing this stuff you know like and when you're so close to something I can speak from experience not game dev experience but like I'm an accountant and when I'm communicating to my clients who are not accountants I have to remember sometimes that they're not accountants and I have to yeah. break things down in a way that they can understand that has nothing to do with the knowledge that I have you know and I think VR kind of falls into that trap a little bit too, because like this is all they do, <laughs> and they know exactly yeah. what's going on, and they can't remove themselves from that knowledge. But then you That's bring in people point. who are not even like in pre-alpha, the like, people who are just, you know, waiting for these types of reveals, and it's a lot different, you know, like it's a lot like figuring out what to say and what to show when you already know everything yourself is really challenging like for the for tonight if they had said they were going to give us a preview instead of a reveal like this this five minute video in my opinion was a preview mm -hmm. show me mm -hmm. something else next that's actually the reveal <laughs> yeah. or like let somebody stream it and like let us actually see what it is you know um so yep. yeah like wording is super important uh intent is super important i think they always have the right intent i think that they just fall into a trap of having yeah. a small team who has yeah. to kind of figure out you know how much they can show agreed and i think that is ties into the the whole development process you know when you see these things that you're like why didn't this happen a long time ago it's like it's just sometimes it's a little scattershot right like sometimes it's a little bit they just yeah you you don't know till you know you know what i mean you mm -hmm. don't know until you know sometimes too right and I, I think that they wanted to deliver a specific target of graphics but they just realized that that's not feasible and they tried and they tried and they tried and um they just come to that point and i think the open ended uh being a public facing it during development like um 
But Sarah's saying it's easy for us to also forget that these guys are just some nerds developers, right? Right. Like, yeah. They're not. <laughs> they're not like experts. You know, they don't have like a yeah. whole team of people telling them how to market and how to talk to people and how to communicate. They're they're nose to the ground and they're just trying to get this done. And you know, if anybody actually believes that visionary rounds is nefariously doing anything um then you just not been around long enough to know these if anybody you think you want the game to come out can they you want. imagine how bad they want the game to come out right uh, exactly you think i mean we have our wants i mean their motivations go way beyond what we even know sure. i mean you have oh, to realize yeah. the history with this and the people that they've lost and i mean there's so much going on that you it goes beyond just you know us as gamers wanting a new MMO home that for them, this is a, this is a right. way bigger journey for them. Right? Yeah, they, so. They've literally had people pass away during this project. Yeah. Like they, yeah. they are literally doing this for their friends and their, as, as Saz said on a famous Facebook book for their coworkers and their, you know, yeah. it's their family. Right. So they, yeah. there's, it's... there's never, ever been any, uh, as, as <laughs> Nathan said, there's never been any doubt with, in my mind that, they're not trying to complete yeah. this thing. It's like a Sarah said, the intent. I like what she said. And it's the intent we know is there. It's sometimes it's the process that we're a little bit, you know, we get a little bit irked about. Honestly, sometimes. I can't imagine being that passionate about a, a project and having that much pressure, yeah. you know, like, yeah. like they, as someone said, they, they probably live, breathe pantheon you know what i mean like this is their passion project oh, yeah yeah but then to be that visible and that and have that much pressure uh yeah. you know obviously that doesn't excuse everything but like i i can't imagine that and so you know i feel like the presentation tonight was a bit of a miss in regards to how it was handled but i also can throw them a bone to a little bit and say yeah you know yeah. I, I i have my personal opinion on it but it's not so much for me to be like, oh, Pantheon or Visionary Realms doesn't know what they're doing. I, I think right. that, that's why it's super important for like people like us who are in the community, uh, content creators, to spread the message because they can mm -hmm. only do so much, and yeah. you know, like it's it's really important for us. So, uh, and I know that they know that, and I know that like we are you know, working with them and so close to them all the time anyway, but I hope that they can continue to let our content creators and streamers do their thing and get the word out and and show, like, what a, a, a you know, an excellent game this really is. Like, I loved Red's video that he put out recently where mm -hmm. he finally got to play, and he was, I mean, he had some valid concerns, too, that I totally agreed with, but he was also like, this is the game I've been waiting for, you know? And that was his first time playing, and it's an unfinished game, it reminds me of what Essen said, like, a few years ago, before I even really got involved, when it was much less finished, and he, I asked him how it was going, and he's like, I would play this game today, the way it is right now, just mm -hmm. because of the way that they're creating it, and their, the things that they focus on is important, you know? Like, it's what we want, for sure. I just... Come on, guys, get it out already. I hope the yeah. rest of the year goes the way they hope it will. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and also, you know, we all just have expectations on everything with Pantheon. So, like, you know, tonight's size of the video, I think, is probably the biggest letdown. We just wanted a little bit more. Maybe Joppa, you know, Joppa, just record them, just let them talk. And then, you know, <laughs> put that in a video also would, be, would have been really nice. But, you know... Uh, uh, for tonight's short length, it was kind of like, you know, we expected Red Lobster. After waiting so long, we kind of got Long John Silvers. That's all I'm saying. Whoa! <laughs> no! It's too short! Whoa, whoa, whoa. too short! Not enough, yeah. not enough meat on the bone. I How love Long John Silvers. How long have you heard none of that one from Nathan? <laughs> Well, oh, I thought we were going to have one divisive uh, topic tonight, but now we're diving into more. Oh, so we don't got time to do this. This is about that. to be a throwdown. <laughs> That's too much. Well, so we'll, we'll get you out of here before chaos ensues. But uh, and thanks. I'll leave you to it, guys. Good luck. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Bye, guys. We're not afraid Bye. to exploit. We're not. <laughs> Throws in the sap. I like it. All right, well, guys, we are down to our last green room victim. And we know uh, Stands in the Fire can take any criticism and commentary. He is never one to shy away from sharing his opinion. So what do you say? You want to talk yeah. to Stands? Let's hear right. it. Stands, unmute yourself. Bring him in. I haven't yeah. talked to you in a while, actually. It would be good to talk to Stands. Stands, what's happening, bud? 
What is the haps? <laughs> uh, it's been a long night, longer than we thought we'd be here. Here we are. Yeah, well, you know, the uh, show here, the post show, is eclipsing the actual content by several orders of magnitude. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> We've now gone, yes, multiple, multiple times longer than they. <laughs> well, we're, is, we've become uh, the blabby ones that's what's happened here <laughs> I thought that's what people expect from us though yes, to be honest yes. that's, they're here for the conversation so, so you grab it any little scrap you can and you get the most meat off of it yeah, yeah eat every bit yeah. every, absolutely exactly. well, these guys you give me a topic I will talk so I will have all day about it See, I was going to say, Oren, that I was actually looking forward to more from you. You were quiet oh. tonight. I, I, trying to give everybody an opportunity, right? Trying to respect that. But usually, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty chatty. Stance, you know how it is. It's impossible to get a word in edgewise with this crew. <laughs> You've been on our grading streams. You know how it goes. This crew talk? No. No, never. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. So what did you think? What did you think of the, the whole thing? Uh, so for one, um, a lot of the things that I uh, that I have to say, a lot of other people have really touched on. Um, I think bafflingly, Random Rob and I agree on a Whoa. lot. <laughs> wow, that's a first. I, I kid, Rob. I kid. <laughs> um, subjectively, I'm not terribly a fan of the new art style. But I like it better than the old art style, which I really was not a fan of overall. So, oh, interesting. like, it, 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 it doesn't bother me. I just, it's not quite up to quite my cup of tea yet. Um, yeah. The reality of this is Visionary Realms and, and Pantheon, this isn't Star Citizen. This isn't hundreds of millions of dollars just pouring in with no need to actually put a game out. At some point in time, they need to pull together and actually release a product. And one way or another, this is, you know, like Nathan, you said that, you know, the dev you were talking to um, was, was saying that, you know, he wished he had made a similar pivot early on while he still could. Right this is probably what's going to actually let us get a game. Right. Agreed. Like plain, plain and simple, it, it's going to give them a path forward to get a game that will be able to be developed and run infrastructure, art, everything. Yeah. Um, Why let's make a change like this this late in the game? It, yes, and <laughs> or, or that's that actually makes me laugh because literally you're dovetailing into the next thing I was going to say. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, which is that my worry here is that this is another late game pivot here, and we've seen several times now where Visionary Realms has kind of done the development equivalent of painting themselves into a corner. Yeah. And then stayed in that corner for a long time, <laughs> wondering if they can just wait for the paint to dry and <laughs> find a way out of it. Yeah. Before they then out. before they then decide, nope, I'm just gonna have to walk to the other side of the room and repaint everything. Yeah. And right. that worries me. Yeah. Because this is another one of those. It's probably a good decision, but we've been seeing different models be displayed and development on the same models and progress we're doing we're doing animations we're doing riggings we're doing mm. all of this work on the same sets of things and yeah. at some point in time somebody yeah. has to step in and say like look we're spinning our wheels all of these are taking longer than they need to we have to pivot this is project management, and that's the part that worries me. Yep, yep, and I think that's a, I think that's an excellent point, and that's where I sort of the process scares me. Um, you know, and these are like this is a company that's never made a game before, right? There is very right. little, you know, there is no experience with uh, as a company themselves, as a group themselves, having put out a game, and and mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so where does that leave them? You know, they they're going to make mistakes that other dev teams wouldn't make. They're going to make 
you know, like you said, keep painting themselves into corners, which is kind of comical if you think about it. But if you if you are doing something you've never done before, you're probably gonna do, that's probably gonna happen, you know. And and that's people don't generally realize that. And I think I think the insight for that is is valuable. So you try to keep that in mind when you when you see things that you're like they're head scratching moments. And you're like okay. You just sort of try to. You have to sort of take that a little bit, right? But but then where's the limit? Like how many times uh-huh. can that happen before you sort of like you lose faith that it can actually be accomplished? And I think that's where I see a lot of the harsh critique on the on the internet is like people just they feel like they've reached that breaking point, right? Yeah, and that's the thing that worries me is not that they keep hitting these roadblocks, but how long it's taken them to pivot away from certain things. You know, we've seen the refactoring, we've seen rendering pipeline changes, we've seen tool set changes, we're now seeing asset design changes, and that's just the major points. Yeah, the network stack changes. Mm -hmm. We're seeing all of these things where they're developing and developing and developing, and then we get a little bit of a dark period Mm -hmm. and then somebody pops up and says all right well we've identified a problem and we're spinning back around and uh, bounty i mean i kind of hate to say it but i don't hate to say it you're 100 percent right buddy well they do have i mean didn't they they put somebody in a project management management position i want to say rob and that brain um that might be why we're actually getting stuff like this you know a decision Mm -hmm. made and moving forward yeah maybe yeah it are. has the it has the feeling of um putting together ikea furniture the first time right <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah. at page 42 and you're like crap i got this back <laughs> you think you're you think you're almost done then you step back to look at it and you're like oh that's upside down the seat is upside down right i can't even sit on this chair that i was making uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I've got I've got parts left over. None of these pieces are facing the same way. I've got yeah, yeah. Like so. I said, I, I'd love it to happens. be a fly. Yeah, I'd love to be a fly on the wall for for when that happened because I I almost like I guess just in my head I imagine uh, an artist being like to chop you know hey this this could all be way easier if we went this mm-hmm. this, this other direction and him just going crap you know like. I would, no. I would love to have been a fly on the wall with that. And, I mean, like, again, that can't be an easy decision when they no. got to know they've set a precedent and they've set an expectation. And whether that expectation is super reasonable considering the state of, you know, state of development or whatever, but, I mean, that's a hard decision to make. So, And, and to be honest, this happens to a lot of developers, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's common. Yep. Actually, a lot of the same... It, things they've ran into has happened in the development of tons of video games over the yep. course of our lives. However, usually it's not public facing, and therefore yep. we it just gets it. delayed. Yeah. It just gets delayed. That's all you yep. know. And you're like, gee, I wonder why they had to delay it, right? And it's because they've hit some wall similar to the one. They're public facing, so we're seeing every fumble. Mm-hmm. So it, we feel it. Um, when normally in game development, you know, if they if it wasn't a public uh, facing, you know project that needs that then uh, we wouldn't even know right we just like why is this taking so long you know yeah and uh, you know there is the public facing aspect of that which you're 100 percent right but i you know kind of like mana rohan was saying earlier as somebody who you know i work on multiple development teams you know multiple project teams um i know how these things are supposed to look and this is worrying me. <laughs> I would be worried if I was, yeah. uh, if I was in those rooms yeah. at, at at some of these, you know, just throwing throwing development against a wall that ain't budging. Well, and you think every time that they do something like this, you kind of, I'll speak for myself. I think, okay, somebody's gonna step in, and you know, like things are gonna like there'll be a little bit more of a, you know, somebody pulling the strings a little more. Somebody, you know putting a little more pressure on them to, to stay on task, to stay on direction, to, to stay focused and get things done. But but then, you know, you get another one and you kind of, it just makes you wonder, it makes you question, you know, like what the structure is, like what is the, 
what is the project flow? What is their tools, yeah, you know? or or just those those check ins like you know whatever development methodology you use, whether you're using some variant of you know of, of a waterfall design, which I'm sorry if you are, or you're using a, you know an agile or or any one of the various iterations of those things. Yeah. Part of that process is is periodic check ins to see. Do we have dead ends and showstoppers that we need to that we need to move away from? Yeah. And it worries me that it doesn't seem like that has been um I want to say adequately is not the is not the word I'm really looking for effectively done in several of these major development portions. I mean, it's li- it's why we lost basically two years of time when they did the dark years mm-hmm. and yeah. just, you know, did the entire refactor that took a huge amount of time when they said it was going to be, you know, eight months, yeah. you know, so something like that. I think the original, the original estimate for that particular pivot was way shorter than it ended up being. And then we've had multiple since then it, just not the thing that fills you with optimism. Right, right. I think going forward, too, like that we need to see the returns. So regardless of how you feel about the graphic chain uh, Mm -hmm. or how it looks, whether it's your style or not, uh, at this point now they've said this change is going to help with with our productivity in in getting this game out. It's going to help with stability, performance. It's going to help with all of these things. So now we need to see the return. So mm. make this decision, stick to this decision, and now we need to see the return. Show us the yeah. product of it. it that's Absolutely. all that matters, and that's all that matters. We will literally forget about all of our yep. angst and anxiety as soon as we see that yep. progress is moving faster. And for all we know, by the way, uh, uh, said there in chat, it probably is moving way faster, and it probably actually feels like the dam has been released and it's flowing. Uh, but we just we don't know that only they know that right oh i'm i'm pretty sure it is because i think this was the right decision for them to make i just think they probably should have made it a lot earlier than they did when right. they when yeah. they realized that they were they were running up against but limitations of labor engine mm-hmm. design so you're saying everything you're not worried about the graphics you're worried about whatever the next thing is that's gonna they're gonna start yes on. yeah he, that's <laughs> exactly <laughs> what he's saying and then that's i feel the same way it's the process becomes the concern right i mean mm-hmm. you look at the last few newsletters and they talked about the performance increases they were seeing throughout the last pre-alpha sessions right they that was a sort of the the reiterate the the echoing uh, message was we keep seeing performance gains we're seeing you know fps and we're seeing on you know this and that and the other and all these sort of metrics um so that kind of conflicts with you know like it wasn't working for like the old graphics weren't working so i don't know i mean i don't know we've gotten a lot of mixed messages in the last six months yeah, like i don't know what to make of that right so and i but that's again that's 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 a symptom of following it very closely and, and just you know the overall thing is that like you say the process yep uh, but the the last little mini point I have, because I know we are we are late at this point, <laughs> is Derek's about to turn into a pumpkin. Yep, we're, we're, we're right at a third pumpkin time. We're, we're one minute till. You guys know me too way too well. So there there's been a lot of people in the Pantheon community who, whenever anybody has come in and criticized you know, the previous art and graphic style, the models, you know, oh, they're old, this looks like a game from the 90s, you know, whatever they you know, they came in and they said, and their, their criticism of the look of the game, there's been a large portion of the Pantheon community who has immediately clapped back with, graphics don't matter, um, what matters is the gameplay, yeah. your, your, your concern isn't valid, you know, that's, you shouldn't be having this criticism, just shut up and wait till the game releases. And they've been very adamant about this. So everybody who has ever pulled that particular line out, this is your put up or shut up moment. <laughs> this, this is your chance to either take your own medicine or to cop to the fact that your actual statement was, this is a style I like because of the games I came from, and I am rationalizing that as a defense of the game. 
Well right. said. Cliff. Well said. It's, so much, it's so much easier to give someone else medicine than for you to have to take oh, the medicine. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. And, and, and again, you know, it goes back to this This isn't this isn't an art style I'm crazy about, but I like it better than the models they had in before, and I think it's going to be successful for them to actually release a game before they just hit the, the churn point of no return as a studio. Yeah. You know what Stan's means when he says mini point? Absolutely nothing. It means nothing whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when he says shut up, you know you yeah, better be listening. Right. That, means, that means the raid's about to start. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that means it's getting serious. Things are getting real. That's awesome, Stan. Well, I think we better we better wrap this up. We're going to all turn into pumpkins. Yeah. Stan, thanks so much for jumping in, man. Good to talk to you. Yeah. Yep. Good Catch to you all later. Thank you, bud. Peace, Stan. All right, my friends. That's all it. All right, all right. Well, we made it through. There were good times. There were bad times. I feel like we covered <laughs> everything. The positive, the negative. Never has a six-minute video been so discussed. <laughs> An hour and a half stream to do it, to talk about a six-minute video. No, no, two it. hours. I'm sitting at 152 right now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, it went by quickly. I'll say that. <laughs> It was it was overall pretty positive too. I think uh, most of you know, it was yeah, yeah. I you kind of never know after after what happened and and the whole change and and the topic in general. You never know kind of what you're going to get. Maybe it's the crowd we've got, but uh, which speaks uh, really good of the crowd we've got. But primarily, really positive. And uh, again, the same theme, right? If the gameplay is good, if it's yeah. the game we wanted, and now we just need to see the return. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And honestly, I feel better about the, the art style now than I did before mm -hmm. the show started. Nice. Talking about stuff, debriefing, processing, external processing is a real thing. And uh, I think that's one of the values of you know this show can help a lot in that process. So Yeah, we debriefed yeah. it. We debriefed yeah. it. Talked you know? it out. Got all the feels out. Got it all we out. Talked it out. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, let's, uh, let's do a little roundtable and then we'll end this thing. Nathan Napalm, what you got going on? Uh, we're going to be doing some... Uh, Sparrow has book club, so we won't be doing P99. We won't blame it on Listen, her. Uh, book club? Tomorrow. Really, Sparrow? You're a P99-er. Like, there should be nothing that comes before EverQuest. <laughs> She's reading some classical books. So we are going to do some Embers tomorrow night. Um, during the day tomorrow, I've got a special treat that, it, that YouTube will not tell you about, by the way. So you got to watch closely. I'm going to be playing some Mortal Kombat, uh, the new Mortal Kombat, um, and... Do some online play, so come watch me get beat up, and maybe do some butt kicking because I'm decent at Mortal Kombat. Um, and then you know we've got uh, Baldur's Gate three on Saturday and uh, Sunday, maybe some wild classic hardcore if everybody can. Ooh, Theric, what's going on over? I know what you're going to talk about. What's going on over at YouTube? Yeah, man. Yeah, we just started a new show called Saturday Morning Heroes. It's uh, it's uh, action RPGs. It's like roguelikes. It's more sort of looter shooter stuff. We're playing Myth Force right now, which came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, that's Myth myself. Force! Woo! Myth Force! It's got the most addictive song in the world. Uh, it's it's uh, me and Desiree and Mr. Coddleshire and our friend Annoying Llama. That's Saturday noon Eastern time on our YouTube channel, the Pantheon Plus YouTube channel. And then on Sunday at the same time slot, we've got Quest and Coffee. And this is the season finale of season one. We're playing Celasta. We're about to beat the first, the, the main story, the main narrative. So this will be the uh, final episode, so make sure you're there to check that out. That's myself, Sparrow, Grogu, and Fate playing that. So, yeah, would love to see everybody come out and check out, hang out with us for those two shows. Sweet. Oren, you've been amazing. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, being our yeah. guest guest host. We really appreciate your uh, feedback. Uh, tell everybody what you're doing. Yeah, and, and thanks for having me, too. This was a blast. So it's, uh, it's, it's cool to be on this side of it. So... Um, so I stream every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday nights, uh, nine, around 9, 10 p.m. Eastern with my wife, Kyle Aris. And uh, we also have um, a Dungeons & Dragons uh, sort of program that we're doing called, we call Myths & Mayhem, uh, that we're doing every Monday night. Uh, we're wrapping up. We're getting close to the end of our first campaign. It has been a blast. Uh, so all of the VODs for that, the prior episodes, are on our Twitch channel and also on our YouTube um yeah and that's we just like to chat with everybody uh have a good time talk about games and uh and play some dungeons and dragons so that's what we got going on it's that's great awesome. family streaming if you guys yeah uh if 
you love family streaming, just wholesome fun, uh, make sure you hit their channel. I linked it there in the in the chat. Make sure you go appreciate it. Give them a follow, please. Uh, for myself, we got Monday nights Embers Adrift with Mister Nathan Napalm. We are uh, we are leveling while waiting for magic. Um, so it, it is super close. Um, so you know you might never know. We you may just like check us out on a Monday night, and all of a sudden, uh, magic is there. We we have no idea, but uh, yeah, it really could. <laughs> very it may soon. really might be like that. Yeah, <laughs> yep. so very soon. And then of course um, we're in. We have the MMO one hundred and one where we're doing EverQuest two. Um, so if you like EverQuest two and you thought, hey, I would I, I would like to play EverQuest two, we're actually we we're forming a guild and we're doing some raiding, and it's not too late to get in. Um, so make sure you you check out the Discord if you want to group with us and do stuff with us in EverQuest two. We would love to have you. Other than that, I think let's call this a wrap, guys. Let's call it. All Good right, night, everybody. Everybody, wave yeah, bye bye to people. Bye bye. Good night. Bye.